It was the dead of night, and Marshall Airport was eerily quiet, a stark contrast to its usual bustling chaos. The overhead lights flickered sporadically, casting long, wavering shadows across the terminal. Jack sat at gate 42, the lone passenger waiting for the last flight out, a red-eye to Chicago that was delayed due to inclement weather. Jack, a seasoned traveler, felt a sense of unease that he couldn't shake. The airport, usually filled with the comforting hum of travelers, now felt like a tomb. He stared at his phone, the screen displaying delayed in ominous red letters. The monotonous drone of a news broadcast on a nearby television was the only sound, the anchor's voice blending with the howling wind outside. Suddenly, the PA system crackled to life, a grating noise that made Jack jump. Attention, passengers waiting for flight 319 to Chicago. Please be advised that your flight is now scheduled to depart at 3 row a.m. We apologize for the inconvenience. Jack sighed and slumped back in his seat. Another hour of waiting, a cold draft swept through the terminal and Jack pulled his jacket tighter. He noticed a janitor at the far end of the hall slowly pushing a mop across the floor. The janitor's movements were mechanical, almost robotic, and his face was obscured by a cap pulled low. Jack decided to stretch his legs and walked over to the vending machine for a snack. As he fumbled with the machine, he heard a whisper behind him. Jack! He spun around, heart pounding, but saw no one. The terminal was still empty, save for the janitor, who now seemed closer than before. His back still turned. Jack shook his head, convincing himself it was just his mind playing tricks. Returning to his seat, Jack couldn't shake the feeling of being watched. He glanced around nervously. His eyes were drawn to an old framed photograph hanging on the wall near gate 42. It depicted a group of smiling airport staff from decades ago. Jack walked over to get a better look, squinting at the grainy black and white image. One face stood out, the janitor, unmistakably the same man mopping the floor, unchanged by time. A chill ran down Jack's spine. He quickly returned to his seat, his heart racing. He checked his phone for messages, desperate for a distraction. The minutes crawled by and Jack's anxiety grew. He decided to approach the janitor, needing to break the eerie silence. Excuse me, Jack called out. The janitor paused, but did not turn around. Excuse me, Jack repeated, louder this time, walking closer. The janitor slowly turned his head and Jack's breath caught in his throat. The janitor's face was pale and gaunt, eyes sunken and hollow as if drained of life. His lips moved, but no sound came out. Then, in a raspy whisper, he said, You shouldn't be here. Jack stumbled back, fear gripping him. He turned and ran towards the nearest exit, but the doors were locked. Panic set in as he frantically looked around for another way out. The terminal lights began to flicker more violently, casting sinister shadows that danced on the walls. Suddenly, the PA system crackled again, but this time it emitted a low, haunting melody that seemed to resonate deep within Jack's bones. He backed away, looking for an escape route, when he saw them, ghostly figures emerging from the shadows, their forms flickering like old film reels. They glided silently across the floor, their faces contorted in expressions of sorrow and pain. Jack's mind raced. He remembered reading about a tragic accident that occurred years ago at Marshall Airport. A plane had crashed on takeoff, killing all on board. The incident was said to haunt the terminal, especially around Gate 42. Jack now realized he was encountering 
the restless spirits of those who perished in the disaster. The ghosts encircled Jack, their whispers growing louder, overlapping into an unbearable cacophony. Join us, they murmured, their cold hands reaching out. Jack tried to scream, but no sound escaped his lips. He felt an icy grip around his throat, pulling him towards the shadows. Just when he thought he would be consumed, the terminal lights surged back to full brightness, and the apparitions vanished. Jack collapsed to the floor, gasping for breath. The janitor was gone, and the terminal was silent once more. The PA system chimed, and the calm voice announced, Flight 319 to Chicago is now boarding. Shaking, Jack gathered his belongings and hurried to the gate. He didn't look back, afraid of what he might see. As he boarded the plane and found his seat, he glanced out the window. In the reflection, he saw the janitor standing at the gate, watching him with those hollow eyes. The plane took off, and Jack vowed never to set foot in Marshall Airport again. But deep down, he knew he would never truly escape the ghosts of Gate 42.